according to the documentation at material.angular.io, Angular Material has internationalized and, ex and accessibilized components for everyone. The key word in this statement is the word components. The Angular Material components allow for great user interface designs, as well as the TypeScript that controls the behavior of the components. In order to install Angular Material, one must have an Angular project set up with the CLI. Once this is completed, one can install the Angular materials into the project with the following command. ng add at material, oops, angular slash material. Once the command has installed the necessary dependencies and everything Everything should be ready to import the required. Oh, once this command has installed the necessary dependencies and everything is good, one should be ready to import the required commands, components. For this example, we'll be using an Angular Material table. In order to do so, we must first install the required Angular Material modules in the app.ts file and important the following Angular Material components. First, um, in order to set up Angular Materials, we're going to choose deep purple slash amber, or I am. I am not going to add typography styles or browser animations. And so now in the app.module.ts file, um, I can import um, the mat table module at angular slash material slash table. Um, and I, I can also install the mat card module from at angular slash material slash cart. And both of these imports will be added to the imports array in order for them to successfully be used in our user design, user interface. Now in my user interface. Now one is able to add the mat table module and the mat card module to the imports array in the ng module of the app.module.cs file, like I just did. One of these imports are added. One is now able to use the material table and material card components. Here's an example of the Angular material table. Notice the columns are just titles. So basically, I'm going to uh, delete the contents of app.component.html. Um, and the way a mat table works is first, I'm going to define a mat card. And the table reference. And the data source for the mat table will be blog posts. And there'll be a class of mat elevation Z8. Um, and so next, I'm going to define a mat container with a mat column death of title
And this will basically be our first, um, I'm not sure, my first column or row. Uh, actually, both. They'll be, yeah, both. Um, so this will be a mat header cell, the first one. And it is of type title. So this will be the title of our title, my title. And the next will be a mat cell and mat cell def equals let element here where I'm defining the element in order to um, pass the data into the TD, which is the column, I believe. Yeah, so next, um, next I'll define the not ever row, which will take in the property mat header row def and it'll be of the value display columns and next will be mat row um with a mat row def of let row columns displayed columns. I don't think, I think it's supposed to just be display columns because that's why I said the first one too. And so that's the HTML for my mat table. And in the app.component.ts, I'm going to define the blog post, which is passed in to my array of columns. So basically it's the data source for the project or for the table. Uh, yeah, so the title of the first one will be my first blog posts. And the title for the second one will be my second blog post. Um, my second blog post. And next, I'm going to define the display columns, which will be a string array. And it'll basically just be title. Yeah, it'll just be title. And so if I go and ng serve, um, with the Angular CLI, um, it'll be able to serve the project. So ng serve isn't working. So I'm going to npm run build um, SSR also doesn't work. So now we're going to install CCXT because um, 
there was a problem with the installation. Oops, on CCXC, CCTX. And now I'll try to run it. It says source list map is the node module that I can't find. And it also says the package.json has a valid main entry. So what I'm going to do is look in the package.json see if there's any main entry and there isn't. So below the scripts or above the scripts, I'm going to um, have an entry point of I think it should be app dot component or app dot modules of TS. Um, yeah, so looks like we're gonna have to bootstrap the application. And in the app.module.ts to the app.component, it seems it already is bootstrapped. So yeah, I'm gonna in the package.json write main um, source app app dot module dot ts and see if I can serve it now. And if this doesn't work, I'm probably gonna install source list map because it says cannot find sourceless map. So I'll try npm i sort list map. Um, that would be search. Oops. So that doesn't seem like it worked. So this article online says to install source map and then in the tsconfig.json in compiler options, module resolution, node. So let's see if this has worked. Hasn't worked again. Uh, might be because this is wrong. I'll try to npm run build. 
Unknown error, cannot find JSON stringify safe. So I will npm install JSON stringify safe. And then try the npm run build, server side rendering. Unknown, unknown error. So cannot find module JSON stringify safe. I'll try again. I don't know if it's going to make a difference in the code. I uh, forgot to disable the protections for installing. Now I'll try to and serve in the root of the home directory. It looks like source map list. Source list map. And have to disable the protection again. And again, I'll run ng serve in the root of the home directory. And it looks like source list map is the um, is the problem with the application currently. So what I'm gonna do is npm i in and hopefully Hopefully this allows the application to install the necessary dependencies as the problem is um, okay so what we're gonna do had enough of this uh, gonna go back into the source source list map. This package has a package on JSON. Um, but as you can see, it has a, a lib folder and index.js, but no, um, it doesn't have these files in it. But there's source map instead. So what I want to do is 
Um, instead of using source map, li source list map, I'll just change it to source. Um, source map. Um, I'll go to source list map in the NPM registry. And I'm going to install NPM uh, types source list map, um, which is the TypeScript implementation of the, the package. And I'm hoping this solve the issue so it doesn't so what i'm going to do is delete the node modules the package block.json And um, really what this does is if a package was installed kind of uh, wrong, if it was installed wrong, um, then this allows the package to be reinstalled and hopefully, um, can install it correctly this time. So now I'm waiting for the node modules and package log dot JSON to be deleted. And once it does, I'm going to NPM I with protections off uh, because Angular Universal uh, makes it so one has to do so. So this worked, I'm going to install the required dependencies again. As you can see, the no modules in package lock.json have been deleted. And now it seems the necessary dependencies are installing. And uh, definitely, um might help we'll see see if uh oh i'll see <laughs> um
In the meantime, I'll continue reading while the packages are being installed. And it looks as if the NPM has installed everything successfully, or at least it's really close to being all installed. And there's just a few more packages that need to be installed. Looks to be like 99% completed. So I'll give it one more try and hopefully hopefully it works. If it doesn't, then I mean hopefully for the the developers watching this course, um, hopefully it works on your end. Feel free to send me a message if it doesn't work for you. Um, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, um, sometimes the software 
can't find sometimes can't find the solution. I can't find the solution to the software, which is, I mean, I guess both is and isn't the nature of software. Like some sometimes you win, other times you other times you don't win. So yeah, I typed in mg serves in the root of the directory. And now I'm waiting on the command. It's just taking a long time, which isn't a good thing necessarily. But, oh, it looks like it did work. So deleting the uh, node modules and reinstalling everything has allowed uh, the ng-serve command run in the root directory um, to compile the necessary dependencies. So now it's building for the project, as I'm sure you know, being a uh, code. It, yeah. Yeah, but let me know in this moment uh, if you want to send me a message and let me know if this course has been of value to you. Um, yeah, so now it's generating the browser application bundles. And I'll be able to open my browser in just a minute. And um, with default, uh, Angular applications serve on localhost 4200, and which is pretty common knowledge amongst Angular application developers. Although if you're not seasoned in the ways of Angular, no, no harm, no foul, as I say. Um, yeah, so now we can see, or now I can see the blog has successfully been um, built and served. And this is how it should look. For you. Uh, there have been many other components used in Angular materials. The list of different components can be found at material.angular.io slash components. There are some interesting components such as mat input, mat button, and mat list. And that's it for this chapter. See you in the next one.